Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video from in the planet right now. I was thinking to myself, what can I make a video about today that maybe people haven't seen before and heard before, maybe uh, could assist you on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I want to share with you first something that has that is pertaining to my uh, my orange citrus fast that I was really excited about yesterday but today not so enthusiastic seeing as uh, let me just move this out of the way it's a crystal ball or a snow globe it's a little visual for you so uh, basically I was really pumped about this citrus fast and that was until I opened the bag of oranges and was really, really at first surprised and thought I had bought grapefruits because they were all yellow. You see, what they do is, they're very smart, these marketing people, because what they've done is they use the same bags that they use for carrots that have the orange lines that create the appearance of a visually appealing uh, orange colored citrus fruit. But when you take it out of the bag, it's yellow which essentially means it is just a weak brand, weak genetically modified orange that I'm eating, not really getting any nutrients out of it whatsoever. And you can really, you know that you aren't getting the nutrients when you are full and you're still hungry. And that's exactly what this orange juice is doing. It doesn't matter how much of it I drink, I'm still hungry. So. These are not the oranges I can do my orange fast with. I'm going to have to return them. So that, let that be a caution. When you buy some fruit, if you want to avoid the hassle of having to return them or deal with that, inspect them even if they're in a bag. If they're in a bag, especially inspect them because the, the marketers can hide it with the coloring. Now, on a side note, I wanted to share with you several books that are of uh, importance to read. I already mentioned one of them the other day and it is think yeah think and grow rich by napoleon hill now this is inverted uh too bad but yeah you get the gist this book you know is a very uh, motivational and supportive it supports all the foundations of what it is you need to do to succeed in promoting yourself and the dream that you see coming to reality. Uh, next book, Man's Higher Consciousness by Hilton Hotima. This book is, uh, it's out there, but if you like ideas and possibilities and accounts of real life, uh, miraculous, aged people, people that have lived, you know, centuries based on the fact that um, we eat to die, but we also eat to live. Now, if you read the book, you'll understand that. But the basic concept is that our intestinal tract, elementary canal, which is our mouth to our anus, all the same lining. This lining here, this mucous membrane lining, it's the same, or the tongue, so you know what a tongue is, is all the same lining that actually goes all the way to your anus at the rectum. And when we are born, we are already trained to eat and ingest food for energy. But a lot of people don't feel that is the case. Some people believe that we were originally a species with a rudimentary alimentary canal. Just like a male has rudimentary uh mammary glands for producing milk and it's only when we begin to start eating that we actually need to continue eating but it's in eating that we waste a lot of our systematic energy and in the process of digestion uh, utilization and elimination and and so on and so forth just because things accumulate and we exert more and more energy into these foods that just don't agree with our body but we make the best of it. Our bodies are always able to be adaptable to the situation, which is why humans 
can just eat about anything on the planet and still survive because our bodies are gifts of God, creation, and can just adapt to anything you feed it. You know, that's why heroin addicts can live for a long time, or alcoholics, because the body knows how, the liver especially knows how to synthesize and break things apart and then utilize them and use them. It is a master chemist factory, facility plant for facilitating chemical division and assimilation and uh, collaboration. This is a book that I'm currently reading. Uh, I'm not through it yet. It's an older book. And it's called Survival into the 21st Century by a man named Victoras Kolvinskas. And uh, he works in conjunction with the Hippocrates healing mythology, mythology, methodology. <laughs> in, uh, and they're based in Florida, I think, and they use a lot of wheatgrass. But this is all about the fruitarian. It's actually a lot like man's higher consciousness and I'm seeing a lot of the direct correlations but this book is about everything about our species past future and present and I'm thoroughly enjoying it because it it covers a wide array and spectrum of things and touches on topics that I already know a lot about but also things that I had never even known so this is a great book for that and it just so happens that the man who wrote this book only lives an hour from where I'm staying right now. And it would th be a great idea for me to actually get in contact with him and have a sit down. Actually, I'm going to work on that today and I'll let you know how that goes. And maybe uh, that will be an interview that I could put on this camera. Now, what I'm going to show you here is something that's very precious to me. And it's something that I take with me wherever I go, or if I, if there's not one where I'm going, I take one with me, but it just so happens I'm at a house that has a copy of the Detox Miracle Source book by none other than Grand Master Morse, Grand Master R Robert Morse. This book is my study book, it's my day-to-day -day book, it's my go-to book for any question I have pertaining to the body and what its systems represent in conjunction to all, all the questions you have are answered in this book. And I hope that you get a chance to read it because it changed my life, it still changes my life, it keeps me on the path keeps me wanting to learn more and more about our bodies and just how powerful they actually are when we allow them to reach their highest capabilities of health. So picture picture your body as a uh, electrical yeah, a house. Picture you're building a, your your body is a house and you have an electrical current running through your house. But just say there was some water damage and your electrical system is not working it at its top abilities anymore so it's struggling to power certain re certain areas or it's having trouble lighting certain rooms in your house maybe the room in your brain is having issues because the electrical system which is the you know the uh... what is it sorry i'm, I'm spacing this morning because i didn't have a good night uh, the neurological, but it's, you know, the electrical system, what is it called? The nervous system. There it is. Sorry, I just had a brain fart there. The nervous system is your electrical system in your house, and when your electrical system starts to become, in itself, debilitated, and it starts to shut down and slow down, that's your energy system for your body and your thought processing and everything that affects you on a day-to-day -day basis, and actually... A lot of neurological diseases come from the fact that we begin to create disease-like symptoms in our body through blockages. And when those blockages accumulate, that is what is disease or termed as disease. It isn't disease, it's termed as disease. And, and that's something you want to keep in consideration is if you're eating something 
that's going to create a blockage in your energy pathways, then that will be an area of weakness that will metastasize. And you don't want that, my friends. No, not at all. Because uh, that's how corporations that create medicines as a patchwork or a patch job to suppress, they act as suppressors for the alarm system in your body and they don't represent helping you so much as they represent, uh, you know, well, suppressing the fact that you have a problem and it needs to be removed from the body, not by surgery, because that would be invasive and you don't want doctors cutting anything out of you unless it's come to the point where you didn't catch it in time and it must go or your life is on the line. So what I'd like you to do is just take that into consideration. Anything you put into your body, think in terms of energy and what energy level that's going to give you. Pay attention to the energy you have from certain foods. You may experience high levels of energy from eating meat, but that's only because your adrenal glands, which are responsible for creating steroids, hormones like it, aldosterone, and epinephrine, progesterone, testosterone, and estrogen, they're responsible for a lot of your, well, not only your reproductive organs, but your energy levels and the synthesizing of sodium and calcium and cortisols in there as well for sugar metabolism and utilization. So all these things come into play. And when you eat meat, you get those things from the meat. But what happens is then over a, a period of time, from the long duration of time, you've stimulated your adrenal glands from these meat processed animal product uh, 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 products, you are essentially telling your body's glands, the adrenal glands, to stop producing that which it needs to survive. And at a certain point, the meat no longer gives you, or you need more and more meat to get the same feeling. And that's why people grow old and get tired. So don't grow old and get tired. Remember to stay clean on the pathways keep the pathways clean and the electrical current will grow stronger and stronger. Matthew Millar, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye.